So this is going to be my best skincare products of 2023, kind of my wrap of the year. And I figured instead of just talking about the products and showing you that I will go ahead and also take off the day with you and show you how I use it in my routine. Here are my favorite products from 2023 for my acne prone skin that have helped keep my skin clear, soothe my skin, and the products that have really blown me away this year. Not all of these are new launches necessarily. There are some, but there are some that are new to me. Now we're ready. These are my makeup eraser towels. I like using these before to take off my makeup that I have throughout the day. As you can see, it is very loved. So I will continue bringing these into 2023. Very sustainable, better than makeup wipes, but still gets the makeup off before I go in with my cleansing balm. Another favorite of mine that you guys can see right here is my Peace Out Acne Day Dots. I'm wearing it right now. I'm peel this off. <laughs> It's gonna be nasty if it's so satisfying. I don't think it was ready, but I'll definitely need to put on another dot. So I feel like I haven't shared a lot about cleansing balm this year with you guys, but the two that really stood out for me, the Junoco cleansing balm, that is chef's kiss, probably one of my favorites that I've ever tried. It just gets every piece of makeup off so well. Also tried this year, the Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet cleansing balm for full transparency. I am a Glow Gang ambassador, so I did get to try this with my Glow Recipe credit. When this first launch, not that I was against it. I just had so many cleansing balms and cleansing oils that I was already in rotation that this didn't really grab me or speak to me. But now that I've been able to try it unbiasedly, I really like it. If you guys remember the Then I Met You cleansing balm, it reminds me similar to that. It kind of does have like that sorbet texture similar to the Junoco and then I met you it just dissolves into that oil so nicely and I feel like it really does get off every inch of makeup it feels really nice on the skin I love the smell personally if you're sensitive to scent this might not be for you this has quickly become one of my favorites and I'm not just saying that because I was able to try it with my credit but because I straight up was not interested in it when it first launched but now it's growing on me for sure and it's definitely made its way into one of my top cleansing moms of all time. But then I met you. The Peach and Lily cleansing oil. Really like that. I'm usually more of a cleansing oil girly. So that's why the Junoco is my top favorite of the year because it reminds me so much of a cleansing oil. But this one feels really good as well. <laughs> I put my face. But to go off of that, my favorite cleanser launch of this year and just cleanser of this year in general. And my husband can attest to this as well. He's obsessed. Is the Glow Recipe Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser. This is so, so hydrating. I feel like it gets makeup off. I feel like it's great during the day. I use this when I'm using retinol or other actives in my routine. I use it in the morning. It's just such a great versatile cleanser. And I do love that they changed the top of the component. It used to like spill out everywhere. I wonder if I have the old bottle. I do not. But this is a really good one. I'm obsessed. Definitely my favorite of the year. I can't remember liking a cleanser this much in a long time. This is very similar to the for Holy Frog's Toshmu cleanser. Still love that cleanser. But ever since this came out, I've been kind of going through them. I haven't repurchased Toshmu, but this is right up there with Toshmu with my favorite cleansers, especially a cleanser that's really hydrating and soothes the skin and has ceramide. I've never had a cleanser besides Toshmu. It adds so much hydration into the skin. You now like when I have these active breakouts that you can see that are super inflamed and it just feels really good on the skin. And when I have inflamed acne, I really want to focus on not only treatment, but hydration and helping my skin barrier and healing. Such a good cleanser, 10 out of 10. Definitely one of my favorite launches of the year. That's a bold statement, but it is. Now I wait for my face to dry. I'm going to talk about toner really quickly. I have quite a few toners of the year. You guys already know the quick holy grails. Obviously, Monday Born Source, the best. I'll probably put some on tonight, especially when I have this inflamed acne. Really helps to calm it down. Great in every situation. 79% Centella Asiatica in here. The best. Obviously, another holy grail. I will purchase bottles and bottles and bottles of these forever. The Tower 28 SO spray. So good for acne prone skin. It helps kill all that bacteria. It helps with sunburn, eczema. This is just everything. Obviously you guys know my Fenty Fat Water, another great one that I love, especially during the summer when I just feel oily. But one this year that has really continued just to be it for me in terms of actives is this Alpine Beauty Pore Perfecting Liquid with 2% BHA in Borage, Barrage. I thought it was more purple, but mine has slowly turned into this kind of purpley 
like rosy situation. I love this so much. This is one of my favorite BHA toners. I love that it has actives in here, but that it's not super harsh. It has just truly become one of my favorites when I'm looking for a toner with actives. And I feel like it has really helped with my skin clearing and with my breakouts. Such a good one. Obviously I also love the Glow Recipe Watermelon, but I feel like this has really been one I've been reaching for this year in 2023. A recent favorite is definitely this Anua Heartleaf 77% Soothing Toner. This is great K-beauty for acne prone skin. And this is something I also reach for similar to the Monday Born Source when I feel like my skin just needs to be soothed. <laughs> Has 77% of that Heartleaf extract in it. Again, you can see how irritated my skin is. Like it's insane. This side, not that bad. But this is something I'll reach for. I usually use this in the morning during the day. I don't use it so much at night because at night I'm usually reaching for an active of some sort, but during the day, I love this great soothing toner, calming for the skin. And also a new favorite slash new release that I've been using during the day is this Glow Recipe Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. I have really been enjoying this. This has just been so hydrating for me on my skin. I use it everywhere where I feel dry, so not just my face. And it also has some brightening properties. So I love using this in the morning in combination with some serums that have some brightening properties to it. Ones I've really reached for a lot this year besides the Tower 28 is this Anua 77% and the Alpine Beauty BHA liquid. These so good. Also in the treatment category, I've really gotten into K-Beauty and just trying to up my game there. One of them is newer to me, so I can't give a total review just yet, but the MediHeal pads, this one that I have is the Tea Tree Double Pad. I love this. This is so soothing. And I use both of these as like a face mask, like I showed you guys in a reel, but I've been really enjoying these and just putting it on my face, leaving it on for 15 minutes, almost like a sheet mask, and then putting it all over my face and then kind of just letting it soak. I'm gonna go ahead and use the BHA right now. I feel like I just need some treatment. I went ahead and did those Midi Heal blemish pads earlier today. So they have been treated, but I feel like I just need some BHA. And these past couple days, I've been slacking on my treatments and on my nighttime skincare routine. Like I've just been like putting on the SOS toner and then kind of going to bed. Oh, I forgot my SOS on after because I feel like I could definitely use some treatment like she is irritated right now. Serums right now. The serum that blew me away and you guys will not be surprised at all is this Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. This has been the best serum I have tried in 2023. Again, this is not a new launch. This is new to me. It is everything. My dark spots have not faded so well. Like, where's the third eye? Where did she go? I've had a reoccurring third eye throughout this whole wedding planning process and everything and she is gone. Like, there is no treatment of her. Remember how deep it was? I give most of the credit to this. I have never had a better serum. So pricey, but so worth it. Highly, highly recommend. I love this serum by Caudalie even more than their acne serum, the Vino Pure Perfector. The lid is broken, but I like this serum too. Great for acne, great for BHAs, but they're both pricey. So if I only had to pick one, definitely this. I will continue to sing the praises of this through the rooftops. It is so good. Definitely probably my favorite serum of the year, which is surprising because it's more related to dark spots and hyperpigmentation than acne, but this is like a new holy grail forever. Another serum that really blew me away this year, especially because I was going the wedding and you guys know I was getting a monthly facial. So I got turned on to face reality. So I was trying a couple of things. They even sent me some product, which was cool. And she was using the Hydra Balance Gel. So that was a really good moisturizer that I like to use. But what really did it for me. And I also heard good things from some other people in my Instagram comments. This is their 8% Mandelic Acid Serum. This is really strong. So Mandelic is a calmer girl than lactic. It's calmer than glycolic. And when I say calmer, it's better for sensitive skin. It's less abrasive, but I don't know what it is about this 8%. This dries out my face so much. I was actually shocked how much it dries out my face. So I really have to use this sparingly. So even though it is an acid, an AHA that is supposed to be gentler for the skin, still be cautious with this, but use sparingly. It's pretty good. So really enjoyed this as well in terms of acne treatment and fighting. I will give an update on this. Lion pose 
Mood Acid Jelly Night Serum. This is 10% AHA and exfoliation. So there's no BHAs in here. So this is all kind of for hyperpigmentation, dark spots. But you guys know I'm a big AHA girl, big AHA lover. Of course, the retinol of the year goes to the retinol and niacinamide youth serum from Youth to the People. This is my first time getting into retinol. I like it, but I still want to try some other retinols, retinols out. I kind of want to try the one from Naturium next. I use it about once a week. Not obsessed with it like I thought I would be, which kind of sucks. Keep you guys updated there, but that's kind of the only one I really tried this year in terms of retinol and retinols. But I do like it enough to recommend, and it actually was more gentle than I thought. I'm gonna go ahead and take the mandelic acid just because I feel like, again, I am breaking out like crazy. And this is supposed to really help with teria and also helping as an AHA to resurface the skin. But mandelic is supposed to be really good for acne because of its antibacterial properties that it can possess. The oil la la by Crave Beauty. It's really good. It's basically rosehip oil, linoleic acid, and it's supposed to really help break down that sebum so it's not so clogged in the pores and it really kind of just makes it more liquid. It's really hydrating and it is an oil, but it isn't super oily. This is probably my favorite oil or serum I've tried. I love, of course, also the Great Barrier Relief. I love that. I love oil a lot. I think as a combo to help with the skin barrier and calming down those breakouts and acne, it has really helped me. So I've really been enjoying this too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the back. See, like it's an oil, but it is such a like serum form. It smells like rosehip oil for sure, which is supposed to also be really good and help with acne. But it's just something that's super hydrating. At first I thought it was a little gimmicky, I'm not gonna lie, but I've really just been enjoying it for the hydration aspect. And I really feel like it is helping me control my oil. Obviously this is over time and it's just super easy to incorporate into your routine. So if you're looking for something to help with your acne and help with that sebum production and break down that sebum that causes breakout, I highly recommend this and you can use it anywhere in your routine. You can even use it with your retinols and you are good to go morning, night. And I use this in the last step of my routine right before moisturizer because you're supposed to go lightest to thickest. It's really good. And of course for moisturizer, you guys already know, do I have to say it? Plum plum. Can't get enough for her. 10 out of 10, still my favorite moisturizer of this year and probably for life until something beats her out. What else I want to talk about is this Peace Out Pore Perfecting Stick. This has calolin clay, 5-acid blend, and mushroom extract. The things this did for my pores, incredible. Chef's kiss. My pores were nasty. My pore spatula that I use, I use that religiously probably like once a month and once every two months, but in between that, I've been enjoying this. It has done wonders for my pores. I feel like it is such a good mask. It's super easy to, to massage into the skin and I was really impressed and it's really hard to impress me I feel like with more base masks and things that have like halloween clay I just felt like I was like is it actually gonna work is it actually gonna help with my pores and it does There's another one that was gonna be a little gimmicky but she works she works I was saying for peace out they just came out with these pimple patches that have like micro darts in them that are for more hormonal kind of like stickers the killer or the ones I use by peach slices so I'm really excited to try those I want to order those and use those Especially for some like under the skin situations that we have maybe a period you're going on. I don't have any really right now. These are just in flames. <laughs> so hopefully everything in this routine helps us out with that. And then one of the sunscreens that blew me away this year was actually the Naturium. I feel like I don't talk about this enough because I'm so obsessed with my summer Fridays, but something that I tried this year was the Dew Glow Moisturizer SPF 50 by Naturium. This is so good. I love applying this during the day. It feels so good on the skin. It feels hydrating, but it doesn't feel too thick. It leaves a beautiful dewy glow, which I love, especially during the day. This definitely has been one of my favorite sunscreens. This and the Summer Fridays, I cannot put down. I like the Bioma one too, but that one's a little heavy, but I like that on days when I'm feeling lazy and I just want that for moisturizer sunscreen at the same time. This Hamish one, the Artless Glow Base. This is another one of my favorite sunscreens. So light on the skin, leaves a pretty glow. So this is something I reach for when I want a little bit of a glow, but kind of some more of a matte satin sunscreen. Really love this, especially during the summer when I'm oily and this like during the winter when I want a little bit more of that dew. Still super lightweight, but these definitely some of my favorites this year. This is the Jisoo Honey Infused Lip Oil. Super hydrating, super pretty, especially in the sun or in the light. Like, do you see that shine? I am so sad that this was limited edition. This was probably one of my favorite like lip oil buys of 2023. I know they have the regular one, which I haven't tried. I'm sure it's the same, but this just has glitter, but it is so pretty and it's so cute during the summer. Like, I almost don't want to touch it. I don't want to use it. I love it. Anyway, that is it for this skincare routine and some of my 2020 
23 favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I like my skin. I mean, it's still pretty red, but I feel like it looks a little bit better, like a little bit calmer. I'm telling you, even just between me and Nat, we've used like three of these. So this is our fourth our fourth bottle. I found some new holy grails this year. I've carried in some holy grails this year. You know down in the comments below your favorite skincare products of the year, your favorite launches, what holy grails you brought into the year and will continue to repurchase. Also what things blew you away. I would love to know. Care Rex or skincare content or my acne journey in depth, how I clear my skin. You can go ahead and click over here. Makeup Rex, you can click here. If you want to see some makeup favorites and beauty favorites of 2023, let me know in the comments below. 